This is a follow-up video to this one here where someone brought up a good question. They wanted to know if they could take a larger section of the wall out for this type of a repair. And so if you were working with a three-foot section, you might not need to brace up the walls because you're going to be using the rest of the house. But if you're working with smaller walls that aren't going to have the lateral support, so let's just pretend like for a moment that this wall here had stucco or siding on the outside and was 20 foot long, and you were only going to be working on a four foot section, you might not need to brace anything up because you're going to get the support from um, the wall here. In other words, it's not going to move from right to left, but that might not be the case when you're working with, um, when you're removing larger sections. So if that's the case, go ahead and install a brace. You can either install a brace or a piece of plywood. I'll zoom in on this here in a sec. So if you install a brace, it could be a two by four or a two by six, and you will nail it at the bottom and nail each stud all the way up. You can use one or two nails and nail it at the top. And again, I, I showed the nail sticking out the bottom, but the nails will need to be um, driven in. And I would recommend using 16 D nails if you're using a two by four. Could you use screws? Probably. That would probably work. If you're going to use screws, wouldn't be a bad idea to put uh, two of them in there. Um, we use nails, but uh, I would think a screw would work for temporary situation. And if you're working, uh, and you can, uh, you can apply this to the outside also, you're working in a tight area, you might want to just install a piece of plywood or um, OSB, something like that, and then nail it. And do you need to nail it like a piece of shear panel, two inches on center? No, I would imagine if you nailed this um, six inches on center or put some screws in it, six inches on center on the bottom and maybe um, eight to 10 inches on center, in the um, field here in the center, I think you'd be okay. Wouldn't be a bad idea to put a stud at the end of each um, of the wall to give you, um, to maximize the support um, or the strength you're going to get out of the piece of plywood. Don't do something like this. Make sure you have a stud at each end and then nail the perimeter of the plywood off or screw it off. And uh, this will provide you with some lateral support. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it would look like if we were bracing a wall while we were building a house. So before the shear panel is applied here, we install braces and you can see the braces on every wall. This levels the wall, plumbs it up and gets it nice and straight and prevents it from moving. And this is kind of what I'm talking about here. These, these braces right here would just go on your support wall. Here we go here, and then of course you would remove them when you are done. So I hope that makes sense. And uh, if it doesn't, feel free to leave a comment in the comment area.